Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So I thought it had been quite a while since I've recorded my signature look, the crack eye and the dead lip. So tonight I'm going out with some friends and this is the makeup I wanted to wear so I thought I would record it for you. So if you guys want to learn how I did this look for tonight, then keep watching and I will teach you exactly how to do it. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the NYX Cosmetics HD Primer all over the eyes and just pat that in with my finger. To start off, I'm going to use a little bit of these two colors right here from the palette. I'm just going to get a nice mix of the two onto my Cosette S175 brush and just blend that through the crease of the eye. This is going to be our transition color. Now that we have a nice peachy blend, I'm going to take this color Muse here. And this is on my tiny little Cosette S185 brush and I'm just going to pop that right into the crease of the eye. Don't worry too much about how blended this is because we'll go back over with a bigger fluffy brush and blend it later. So next I'm going to take this Furless PPB1 brush with nothing on it and just blend that line. And I'll just go back to that original Cosette brush that we we're using with that transitional color and just make sure that it's buffed out into nothing. We'll just grab that Muse color again and that Cosette brush and just build a little more depth through the crease with that red. And then back to that Furless Fluffy brush, blend that out as well. Next I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Liner in Plum Area and just run that underneath the waterline. If you do want to put it inside the waterline, I would wait until the end of the makeup just in case it makes your eyes a little bit teary. If you do it now and it makes your eyes teary, you're never going to get anything underneath the eyes to stay. And I'm just going to smudge that in with my pinky. Going back to that pencil brush from Cosette, I'm going to take more of that Muse color and then just set that pencil with that Muse color. Next, taking this Cosette S185 brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of this color Rebirth and I'm just going to use that to buff underneath the eyes. This one's gone a little too far underneath, so I'm just gonna take that concealer brush that buff along that line there. Just make it a similar shape to this side. Just use the foundation brush to just kind of taper off the edges without making them too sharp. I'm gonna take this Cosette D240 brush and this color right here, Venus, for the lid of the eye. And always use a padding motion when you're depositing color. Back to that small Cosette fluffy brush, I'm going to grab this color right here, Shell, and then use that for the inner corner of the eye. I'm just going to use a little bit of it along the lash line right in the center just to give a little extra shine. I'll also dust some underneath the eye as well just to make sure that it's nice and blended. I'm just going to go under with one final touch with this blending brush with nothing added on it and just make sure it's really buffed out underneath the eyes. I just want to add a really fine line just along the lash band just to give some density to the lashes. So I'm going to use this Tarte So Fine Liner. Going to go ahead and apply some Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Superhero underneath the lashes because I know this one doesn't smudge on me. I'm feeling like the lashes are kind of top heavy, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these little baby ones underneath the lash. When you're doing under lashes, you wanna make sure they're going in the direction of your lash. So you'll flip them the opposite way to what you usually do when you're putting them on the top. Just try to put it as close to the lash line as possible. Make sure the hair is going in the same direction as the hair growth of the lash. For eyebrows, I'm going to just brush them out a little bit using this spoolie from Cosmetics. And I'm going to be taking my favorite new brow product. This is Ultra Defined Brows from LA Splash. I posted a little mini Instagram video on it the other day. I just really like this product because you can get more of a sheer look with it. So I'm going to wet both sides with the product with my Furless Angle Brush. Draw a line across the bottom of my brow making sure I fill in this little bit where it just never grows. And then I'm gonna bring that towards the tail a little bit as well. Build that tail up just a little bit. 
grab just a little more product from the back of your hand and then using the flat of the brush I'm just gonna push that product upwards Just going to use it just to fill in a few of those little gaps towards the arch of the brow. Just going to take that spoolie with nothing on it again and just comb through the brow just to make sure it's settling in and looking natural. Make sure the front of the brow doesn't look too square or boxy. I'm just going to use a little bit of this clear brow set from the makeup store just to brush the brows upwards just so they look a little bit fluffy pushing them upwards at the front and then combing the tails into their natural position so for the cheeks i'm going to be taking this deck of scarlet palette this is a bi-monthly subscription that is totally cruelty free every two months you will receive a palette for 29.95 so i'm going to be using these two colors for my cheekbones so i'm going to start off with this color sandstorm and use that as my contour This is a really pretty, cool toned contour color for light to medium skin tones, I would say. I'm just going to take with the tip of my brush a little bit of this highlight powder here, Halo. It does look like it's got a little bit of color to it, so I'm just going to use it just right here on the mid plane of my cheek rather than use it too high up on the cheekbone, just to add a little bit of sheen to the cheeks. Run that just a little bit just up underneath the brow bone as well. For the lips, of course, I'm going to pair my crack eye with a grayish dead lip. And what better to do that with than Lime Crime Cashmere. I'm going out tonight and I'm feeling kind of fancy, so I'm going to add some of my VP Fashion hair extensions. I got these in a lot thinner density because my hair is so short now, the thinner density isn't as obvious that I'm wearing hair extensions. So I'm going to pop the two four clip ones just in the back here. I think when I wear my hair extensions too thick and too lush, they look so obvious that it's not my own hair because my hair on top is so fine. These are so, so easy to put in. I'm just gonna add a three clip also to the back. Because I've got a side part, I'm just gonna take two of the one clips just right here so that it blends my fringe in a little bit. Usually I just take the side where it's a little bit short right there and a little bit of the hair extension, twist it a little bit, and then just pop a little bobby pin snug on the hair and the hair extension so that it really grabs onto it and it won't slide out. This side I'll usually just leave like that. My side fringe here is a little longer so it blends into the extensions a little more. For underneath the hair, I take my little mullety thing that I have hanging down and twist it into like a tiny, tiny little knot. This is a trick that I learned off my friend Amber Dean for wearing hair extensions. Twist it in a baby knot at the nape of the neck and just secure it with a bobby pin so that you don't have all those like short bits of hair hanging down like right there. And that's it. Sometimes I'll use just a little bit of hairspray just to spray that little fringe back there as well so it doesn't keep falling. I think because they are thinner and they match my hair density, they're a lot more believable than wearing super thick hair extensions that are really hard to hide on the actual scalp. Of course, I'm going to finish it all off with a Scandinavia makeup setting spray. Oof. That one was extra squirty today. So that is my finished crack eye dead lip look. This has been pretty much a go-to look for me for a really long time now. Uh, I did record it a while ago on my YouTube channel and I guess I haven't really done anything super similar to it for a long time. Someone actually commented that I can't remember what they said. It was something like, you always do cool tones. I would like to see you do some warm tones on your channel. channel. And I was like, wow. I default towards warm tones. So I guess I've just been thinking that I do warm tones too much and try to do cool tones to like branch out of my box and not 
have everyone bored all the time so obviously the channel was in need of some warmth and what better to do it than with a crack eye look. So tonight I'm going out with some girlfriends and also going to a fundraising bar night to raise money for some dog shelters in Detroit. So that'll be tons of fun and perfect excuse to get dressed up on a weeknight. I hope you guys have enjoyed this signature look from me and maybe I'll do some other crack eye versions using different brands as well seeing as this one I just kind of mainly stuck to lime crime. Let me know in the comments below what other brands maybe you want to see me recreate this signature look with and as always guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Wednesday for my weekly video. Bye!